What does Mickey Mouse and smoking have to do with the origins of the CNC machines that make a lot of what we use day to day? You're about to find out. In 1946, John Parson enlisted Frank Stolen to work on helicopters for Sikorsky aircrafts. Inspired by IBM's punch card reader, they would develop a 200 point program, essentially laying the groundwork for a labor intensive prototype of what now is known as a two and a half axis CNC machine. Despite manual operation, Parson foresaw automation potential with the punch card programming. Securing funding in 1949, a contract with the US Air Force propelled the project forward. MIT server lab engineers joined but the budget running dry led MIT to taking over and cutting Parson from the project. In 1952, they would finish the machine with a 7-track punch tape. By the 1950s, NC machines showed promise, but it took the US Army leasing 120 units to drive adoption. Inefficiencies still persisted with the hand punch tapes. Use of the MIT's World Wind Navy computer would cut production time from 8 hours to 15 minutes. This innovation led to an Air Force proposal in 1956 for a general programming language, setting the stage for engineer Doug Ross and a team to develop Automatic Program Tool, APT. In 1959, they showcase the program with the machined ashtray and Mickey Mouse. APT and other programming languages would pioneer CNC machines. So where does James Engineering fit in? Fast forward to the 1980s. Revolutionary precision chamfering machines would be birthed from Formula One racing solutions created by James Richards. The machines would provide key solutions in the machining process to top companies like Sikorsky, Boeing, GE, and more. Though CNC machines have dominated the industry for a long period of time, the machining world is constantly evolving. With the rise of additive manufacturing, use of artificial intelligence, and other technologies, one can only imagine what machining will look like 50 years from now.